Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. When you want to set up a company file within Peachtree, you can use the new company wizard to quickly and easily create your new business and enter the information into Peachtree. You can start the new company wizard by selecting file from the menu bar and then choosing the new company command. The new company wizard displays different windows into which you will input your company's information before using Peachtree. The information collected during this process will include your basic company information, which accounts you need to have in your company's chart of accounts, your accounting method, the posting method used within Peachtree to post transactions, your default accounting periods, and your company file's other default values. So for each screen of the new company wizard, you enter information and then answer necessary questions within each screen. You then click the next button to continue to the next screen. Note that you can always click the back button that appears in order to return to a previous screen of information if needed. If you need assistance within any screen, note that you can also click the help button that appears in the button grouping to open a supplemental help window which can further explain what is required as far as data entry within the particular screen that you're on. Now when you're finished entering information into all the screens within the wizard, you can click the finish button that appears in the button grouping and Peachtree will then create your company's data file. So let's review the major sections of the wizard and what you will be expected to provide to Peachtree within each section. So when you first open up the new company wizard, you're going to see the introduction and it tells you a little bit about this wizard that is used to create company files. Go ahead and just click the next button to continue to the company information screen. Within this screen, you're going to enter your basic company data and this includes your company's name and address as well as your federal and state identification numbers. You can also select your business type here as well. So you would fill in your address, city, state, zip, country, phone and fax, federal, state, employer IDs, state unemployment ID, and a website and email if you have them. Note that required fields within the wizard are denoted by a red asterisk. Also it tells you in bold at the bottom of this window that you can edit this information after your company file is created. So once again it's not set in stone forever, it just needs some of the basic information to create the file. Once you've finished with your screen you would click next to continue. Now the next thing that you'll do is set up the chart of accounts for your company file. This process allows you to create a chart of accounts by importing settings from another Peachtree file creating a new list of accounts from several sample company templates that provided, or you can convert to Peachtree from another accounting program here as well if you were using another accounting program and then converting that to Peachtree. So first off, you would need to select which of those methods of creating a chart of accounts for your company file that you would like to use. So for our example, we're going to select use a sample business type that closely matches your company choose that option button and you would just click next. So because of that choice that we made we next would need to select the business type that most closely resembles the one that we're creating. You can see there's quite an extensive list. Once you select a business type over to the right you can just actually view the accounts that would be in your chart of accounts. And once again the note at the bottom says that you can edit accounts after your company file has been created. So once again, it's not set forever. Once you've selected your type in order to get the chart of accounts, click next to continue. So the next screen would then want you to choose your accounting method. And here's where you're going to decide whether your company will be set up to use cash or accrual accounting. Now if you're unsure as to which accounting method your company actually uses, just double check with your accountant before creating your company file. As you can see at the bottom of this window it says this cannot be changed after your company is created. So if you make a mistake here, uh, you will need to create a new company file. So you're either going to use accrual or cash. So choose the one that's correct for your business and then click next to continue. Next you'll need to choose a posting method and posting is just the process of recording transactions on the company books within Peachtree.
and here you can select between real-time or batch posting. With real-time posting, your transactions are immediately posted to the appropriate ledgers, and Peachtree will always reflect your most current financial information. With batch posting, transactions are saved and then posted as a group in a secondary process. And this gives you a chance to review them for accuracy before posting. Once again, you can change your posting method at any time. However, most companies without much data entry will use real time. So you just select your option for posting. Once again, click next to continue. Next, you need to set up your accounting periods. So in this window, you're going to decide which accounting period structure you want for your company file. So you can specify the number of accounting periods and when they start and end. Most companies have 12 monthly accounting periods, so we're just going to choose that option and click Next. You would then need to choose the first period of your fiscal year. And that's just the month and the year. Then you would click Next. It tells you you're then ready to create your company. So after you click Finish, the company data file will be created. And after that, you're going to see a setup guide which will help you enter your first records into Peachtree and set up your default values. Now in the new company wizard, the default window only appears if you choose to set up your chart of accounts using one of the sample companies. And it will display details for vendors, customers, and inventory defaults. And it was part of the new company wizard in uh, several previous releases. You do need to still set up your defaults even if it's not specifically stated in the wizard in 2009. So at this point you can just click the finish button and once again the setup guide will appear to help you finish the process of creating your Peachtree company file. And that's what we'll look at in the next few lessons within this chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.